Your freedom and happiness has been restricted by a story that you never double checked. You never double checked the narrative with your, you never cross referenced the narrative that you were fed. You believed it hook, line and sinker. And now your happiness will be diminished. People in general do not want their belief systems to be challenged. They want to hear things that pump them up. They don't want to be consistently challenged. So the reason why people, what people often do is they use groupthink in order to save themselves mental energy. And then they parrot back the opinions of the herd because they think that that gets them approval and safety. Literally the mental prisons that you're initially fed that stifle you down. And then now you are the jailer. You are your own worst enemy. These guys that are like, I don't agree it's ever good. Good ghosts are the best. He literally is his own jailer now. He is hurting himself now. It's so crazy. Most people, however, have a very groupthink strategy. The problem with a groupthink strategy is that you have the sheep and the wolves. The wolves eat the sheep. Everybody is willing to pay to be told what to think and what to do. Basically, the wolves are people that are not mentally lazy. If you want to be a wolf in life, you have to be okay with a high degree of uncertainty, ambiguity, realize that you are in a cultural hypnosis. So the biggest thing that I've realized over the past year, I'd say, because I like to share my biggest epiphanies when I come to summit of the year, is the severity of natural uh, mass cultural hypnosis. It is a lot more severe than I ever really understood. We're all influenced by our social environment. We are not isolated little fucking islands. We are permeable membranes. So what I realized over time, you have to be very controlling of what you choose to let into your headspace, okay? Massively controlling. You have to be aware of what's getting in. Don't let in shit that you have thought through and that you don't want to let in. Okay, so if you want to move ahead in the world, you have to really pull yourself out of easy thinking. Don't look for the easy truths. Some truths are easy. Keep things simple, but never simpler than they actually are. Make it as simple as it can be, but don't make it simpler than it actually is. You have to choose your influences very carefully and choose what am I putting into myself very carefully. Then what you have to do is you have to have a very strong personal boundary of anything that's not moving you in that direction. But to do this, I think, to make it practical and to pull it off, you have to have a reason why you're doing it. There has to be something that motivates you to do that. With increased purpose, it's like your gravity increases and it increases your personal boundaries. Most people's behavior day to day, if you think about it, is coping behavior. They're just trying to cope. They don't feel great and they're just trying to fucking cope. Assume failure. Assume that you will be a failure. Assume that failure is the default unless you fix it. You have to be on top of your shit. Every minute that goes by, if you're on a life mission, you're going by, it's not happening, you're losing time. This is not up for debate, you're losing time. If you'd use the time better, you could have done more. If you use the time worse, you could do less. Think of a mission. Think of the fucking higher universal values that you would have to embody to accomplish it and just spend your time moving in that direction. Think bigger, bigger thoughts. What I realized what was satisfying to me was finding higher values and the struggle and journey of embodying those values. That's where I really found happiness.